The Committee on Health says it is close to completing the investigations on the NHIF scandal that saw eight hospitals suspended over claims of siphoning off funds from the National Health Insurance Fund in falsified claims by benefactor health facilities. Today, the owners and proprietors of the eight facilities were before the Health Committee presenting their submissions as Sheila Chelangat now reports. Before the National Assembly Departmental Committee on Health were the owners of eight hospitals suspended following a scandal with NHIF over falsified claims that siphon funds for patients using the NHIF insurance cover. Present were owners and proprietors of Afia Bora Hospital based in Kirinyaga, Jakim Medical Center from Meru and Jakim Hospital, among others who have since been suspended from operating. Chair, my name is Washira Wagioko from Afia Bora. The committee looking into how 1.5 billion shillings was claimed by hospitals for the period between July 1st, 2022 and June 2023. When NHF tells us that an hospital has been receiving fraudulent claims, are decreaming money falsely, saying they do specialized treatment when they are not authorized to do specialized treatment, do we blame the hospital? It means the hospital was colluding with an, with an insider. So we are going deep to this thing. Not, we, we are not calling the hospitals here because we want to punish them. We are calling the hospitals because they will have to tell us who they were working with inside, because they're insiders. These scandals that have continually marred the fund, forcing health CS Susan Nakumicha to order a lifestyle audit of staff within the organization. This ugonjwa ambaye imekita mzizi kila maali kwenye NHF, na kuambia kuna makateli wabaya kwenye hii inchi, wanaeza nunua NHF mzima waende na nyumbani. Na ndio kwa maana tumeleta sheria. The proprietors presented their submission to the committee which will form part of the report to be tabled before Parliament. Of the committee has directed we be supplied with the reports from NHIF as well as the KMPDC so that we go through them. According to the committee chair Robert Pokose, the investigations are almost complete and have included all hospitals that use NHIF. It's actually with this investigation it is this committee that will do that restructuring through the bill. Committee will sit next in the coming weeks before it drafts its recommendations to be tabled before Parliament. Sheila Chelangat for TV 47 in Nairobi.